Roy Kigwadi. I'm a ward representative in Mbakasi, Nairobi. I'm aged 61 years, around 20, 21 years ago, of which I had an accident. I've been living on painkillers and medicine. The pain on my pelvic and uh, my hip and uh, my lower back. All this time I've, I've been seeing so many doctors, but the only thing they've been doing to me is uh, giving me medicine, painkillers, of which after taking painkillers for, for so long, they've started having uh, effects on my body, that is side effects. So they, they reached a point where uh, the pain was so much bear, unbearable and I had to ask uh, for maybe what I should do to get over that pain because I would not live all my life <coughs> on painkillers. After my hip brought problems, it affected my knees, both my knees. So I had pains in the knees, pains in the joints, uh, pains made me in, in my lower part of the body. That's when I, the name of looking for hospitals came. As a family, we sat down and uh, we thought of uh, going to the website and to look for specialized treatment. Whereas that's where the name of Manipal came in. Uh, and we found out that in Manipal, we had specialized uh, doctors. So I wanted to go somewhere where I'll have everything in one roof. That's how me and my family we settled for Manipal. When I came to Manipal, everything has gone very softly. I first saw Mr. Paul Kigawati, 61-year-old gentleman uh, from uh, Kenya, a month back uh, in my clinic. Uh, he works uh, as an elected uh, representative of the Kenyan government. Uh, he first saw to with me with increasing complaints of uh, right hip pain. To give you a brief history, he had a, a road traffic accident uh, in the early 1980s where he sustained considerable damage to his uh, right hip joint. Uh, soon after that, he started developing uh, pain in the right hip which increased over the past couple of decades uh, to this degree that he could hardly walk a couple of steps uh, without pain. Uh, to make matters worse, uh, he also had a condition called uh, gout which affects uh, the joints because of a high uric acid uh, content level uh, in him. So he also had uh, pain in both the knees which started uh, from the past uh, decade which was also troubling him. Um, so I evaluated him, examined him, uh, did x-rays and found that he had got uh, advanced arthritis of his right hip and uh, uh, arthritis of both his uh, knee joints. Uh, after optimizing him uh, and all the necessary tests were done, we counseled him that he needs a, a hip replacement of the right side and also uh, knee replacement of uh, both the sides. So we went ahead with the, the hip replacement. Uh, the surgery went well, which was followed by a week later by uh, uh, both his knees which were replaced. So patients uh, started uh, walking soon after this first uh, hip was replaced uh, and subsequently after the knee replacement was done as well. So today he's uh, three weeks down the line uh, and uh, he's uh, walking considerably well uh, with, with minimal aid. So these kind of joint replacements, hip and knee, are uh, uh, a very successful uh, uh, surgery and with the advent of modern uh, bearings and implants they are easily uh, uh, they can easily last for more than a couple of uh, decades if taken care of well so we at manipal hospitals uh, are uh, an esteemed center for these kind of joint replacements uh, because of our infrastructure and because of the backup it's a place where i would like even to refer other people to it's only three weeks and i've started doing my physiotherapy, I'm standing, I can walk a bit and I'm feeling in the next maybe one, two months I'll be well, well, well completely. So one thing I, it's many thanks to Dr. Sunir. I found Dr. Sunir and the doctors who are, all the doctors who are accompanied, were very cooperative. 